Hi, my name is Jamie Bunting, and today I'll be explaining how standardized tests are reported and um, explained how to interpret certain um, the grade equivalents, percentile ranks, and the stay nine. So throughout your child's uh, school year, they will take a number of standardized tests. And it's not only important for, for, for professionals within the district, but also for parents of the students. So understanding what grade equivalent scores, percentile ranks, and stay nine mean, and how you can interpret them correctly is very important. So today we will understand how Darcy Jones um, compares and how her performance is on, um, on the fourth grade level. So the grade equivalent score compares your child's performance on grade level, and it compares it to other grade levels of that same material and, re and it's, report it's recorded in terms of grade level and months. So Darcy scored a 5.4, so she's on the, on the fifth grade level, and it was in the fourth month of the school year, so she um, can read at a fifth grade level, but it doesn't mean she should just be, okay, automatically bumped up to the next grade level, no. It's just, it should never be the basis of grade placement discussion. Second, the percentile ranks, um, they range from 1 to 99, and in this case, Darcy did. Um, she, was, she, was, she was average. Um, she's right where she needs to be. She wasn't, you know, at the low end. In, in some areas, she was, scoring in the 30th percentile, but um, most of the time, she was average within the 50th rank, or the 50th percentile of um, most of the students. So say that a, um, she scored higher than 50 out of the 100, uh, 100 children in the same grade level, you know, the same age peers. So she did very good on her science and listening skills. Those, those do need improvement, but um, it's nothing to really be concerned about. She scored 30 um, she was in the 30th percentile uh, out of 100 of the same grade or same aged peers. So, and it is not the same as percentile or percentage correct scores. So that's something to make sure you differentiate from. Lastly, STAY 9. It's actually an abbreviation for Standard 9, and it allows comparison between your child's performance and other students at the same grade level. Stay nines range from also, they range from one to nine, one to three being the lowest, four to six being average, and seven to nine being high. You can basically look at it, one being low, five being average, and nine being high, um, above average. So in this case, um, again, Darcy's reading level is at a five, so she is doing um, average, she's doing well, so it can always maybe be room for improvement, but if you have any other questions, um, I hope you contact me. So, thank you.